Welcome back to Brick by Brick. Today we're going to be talking about whether or not LEGO Microfighter sets are good investments. So I recently bought another LEGO Microfighter set and it's LEGO set 75298 and I think it's going to be a great investment. Uh, I've seen sets like these uh, quadruple in value going from $10 to $40 or $20 to $80 in a relatively short time span, usually about a year and a half to two years. So uh, like I've said, I've seen small $10 sets, which can be a great way to dip your toes into the LEGO investing market, uh, quadruple in value. So the like half-sized versions of these sets can be great investments that are even cheaper than LEGO Star Wars Battle Packs, which are also fairly cheap, but if you're looking for a lower bar to entrance into the LEGO investing market, I think that could be a great LEGO set for you to pick up as long as it's on sale for at least 20% off. So I was able to get this one for 20% off. Um, it's normally about 20 and I was able to get it for about 16. So then they're currently as of recording on sale on Amazon. So I do recommend you get some of these sets and I'll be talking about uh, why a little later in the, in the video. So as a general rule of thumb for investing in uh, these kind of sets, it's a great idea to stick with Lego builds and Lego figures that are very recognizable, that pretty much any moderately interested fan of a series could point out what movie they're from and what scene it's depicting. Um, so in particular, I'm guessing that the LEGO uh, Millennium Falcon smaller $10 microfighter set is going to at least quadruple in value. I could see it getting up to $50 in value. Um, and that is another one that came along with this line, so I might be buying some more of those. But the reason I decided to get this one is because I it, basically it comes with two microfighters and it's half the work as buying two microfighters. <laughs> so I liked this one because it depicts a very famous uh, scene in the Lego Star Wars, in the original Lego, in the original Star Wars trilogy. And it has a somewhat unique minifigures of the Stormtrooper guy and Luke Skywalker. And it has two blasters and interactive elements can always add to the value of a set. So if you're able to get this, set uh, on Amazon. I would recommend purchasing a few of them for, if you can get it on sale for about 20%, 20% off MSRP. But remember to follow the rule of thumb where one Lego set should never be more than 5% of your portfolio. Unless that is, of course, you have less than uh, $100 or so invested in Legos. Then one set is totally fine if it's 10% of your portfolio. But uh, if you start to invest uh, thousands of dollars into Legos, I would recommend following the rule of one set never being more than 5% of your portfolio. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.